Okay, hello and welcome to REDCap weekly training topic session. Uh, my name is Patrick and I will be covering survey notifications on REDCap. As you can see on the REDCap our big research portal, there are survey notifications and the key points that we'll be covering will be enable notifications for a survey, how to add secondary or tertiary emails for survey notifications, and how to choose recipient email address for survey. All right, let's go to REDCap and start at project setup. Uh, make, sh make sure that you have the uh, surveys enabled in the main project settings which with the green check mark and go to design your data collection instruments and enable your surveys online instrument or online designer. And make sure that all your surveys are enabled as well for any that you would like to enable notifications for and let's click on survey notifications for survey options. Okay, and let's go ahead and enable the notification for Tim and uh, Mike for Tim for the tickets and Mike for the or Tran PL for Mike Swarm. And that should automatically save the notification. And a brief description for survey notifications are uh, if you or other users wish to be notified via email every time a participant completes a survey, select the users to be notified under each survey listed below by selecting their email address in the user's drop-down list. And for you can also see the users that have access to your project through the list below. It concludes uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary emails. And if you ever like to change or add an email to your account, um, be sure to contact your REDCap administrator to do that. All right, moving on. If you re want to remove a recipient for the survey notifications, um, basically just change the drop down to not selected, and that will automatically save the work. Okay, and more details about users' rights. Um, if uh, you do not see a particular user for your, your project, you can always add them in the user rights portion. I'll go ahead and close this. It will be located under Applications, User Rights. All right, and let's just go ahead and add a user. And please note that you cannot add a user by email address, so that won't work. It will have to be added by a username. So go ahead and add with custom rights. And let's leave it at default settings. At default settings, the user would have the ability to view and edit survey responses. Okay, and let's go back to the project setup page and the online designer. And back to survey notifications for under service, survey options. As you can see, Brennan G is added to the project along with a primary email address. And some may have questions about how I can test uh, survey no notifications or working properly. Let's go ahead and enable our own email address just for uh, testing sake. Okay. And let's go to data collection, manage survey participants. And opening public survey will give you a perspective of the survey participants view of the survey. And we can quickly answer this and click submit. All right, and let's go back to our main page. All right, and usually the email notification will include a link to view the responses for the participant in REDCap. Uh, the basic 
um, basically the link will lead to the add and edit records for that response. So the link and the email for the server notification will lead to data collection add edit records. It would be the completed response, which would be 1041 today. And basically when you click on the survey response notification link, it will lead you to this response. And another note is that uh, you cannot add, cannot receive survey notifications for responses such as participants that did not click the submit button or those that clicked on the optional uh, save and return later button. Yep, and more topics will be posted on the user rights and edit add and ed editing records in future updates and it will be included in the video link description below. And this pretty much concludes our topic for the week. Thank you very much. Until next time. Well, Mike Tran wants to know, can we see what the email looks like? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. All right, and basically that, that is what the email will look like. A respondent completed their survey titled tickets on that date and that time. And you may view the responses here. So let's go ahead and click on that and that should lead us back to that same exact page. Yep. And there it is. All right, and we have time to answer any questions. We have uh, Mike, Tyler, and Wu here as well.